Hello, this is Retro TK2, and today we're back making a Pokemon ROM hack. So, yeah, last time we found out how to do basic warps, and I also found out that I was using an out of date version of Advanced Maps. So, I've you won't have this problem, Ace, but I've had to actually update my version of Advanced Map. But the link that's in the first description of the other video should be the same version. And I think nothing has changed in terms of the menus, but we will certainly find that out now. Certainly this is still causing a bit of an issue <laughs> on there, which is all part of the fun. So yeah, we've got the license and agreement. This looks all very, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. So this little thing at the top is exactly what I was talking about, Ace, which was why I was sort of perplexed. This is really cool, and we'll get into all that fun stuff in a couple of minutes. So let's open up our ROM. And let's also have a little look at the, okay, so my name, no, okay. So exact same thing, view in size and make it all bigger. So yeah, as you can see, our actual, and the view in size, bigger, <laughs> the big one, the double one. So as you can see, the warps have all been, yeah, correctly changed quite nicely. So I was playing around and of course, although having it so that the player can walk down the stairs is great, for the actual warps that I want, I want them to be very like the warps you see in Silco. Let's see if we can get a wee picture of them. Yep, these, so these blue ones here, I kind of want it to be like that and you, what happens is your character actually spins up vertically and then comes back down to, well, wherever they actually want to go. But first of all, let's, yeah, let's make it so that this will actually lead to Brock's Pokemon Gym. So you can just click no to not save anything, Ace. Yes. So you have to save every single time you change your map, um, which is the way I guess it should be, probably. So I'm looking for a place called Pewter City. Be cool, actually, if there was a way for you to just have like a search, a search function, very like Unity, but there's Pewter City there at the top. So three two is actual Pewter City, and I believe six zero. Yeah, these are all the houses. A six six two. Yep. Yeah. So this is Brock's gym. This is pretty much the first level of our game, and it would be cool to have a way that you know people could buy land and again very like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, so they could actually go and buy this uh, part of the map. <laughs> and uh, well, sure. Hey, anyway, something like that. So we want to link it so that. This warp, going down these stairs, will actually lead to Brock's Pokemon Gym. And the way that you do that is you get the actual warp point that you want. So in this case, we want number one, and then we want the map back, which is six, two, for the map location. So we warp to the number one, and we go to map bank six and two. So if we save and head back into Visual Boy Advance, definitely need to get that mapped pretty soon <laughs> that'll be the next episode ace and of course we have to go down the stairs back up the stairs to reset the room and if we go down here we'll see we're in brock's pokemon gym and this is actually pretty funny here <laughs> so uh because we haven't actually um uh, oops sorry i pressed the wrong button there because we haven't actually went through the oak uh you know, getting your starter Pokemon. <laughs> we're actually, uh, <laughs> we're actually gonna go into a battle here without any Pokemon. So you'll get to see what it's like having nothing in your hand. So let's go, nothing. Nothing has no moves left. And oops, sorry, I keep pressing A. <laughs> but because I've got no health. <laughs> yep, I'm out of usable Pokemon, so player, so I've lost, essentially. I've widened out and I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center, but unfortunately, I got teleported somewhere else. I get to go back home. I think I quite a serious movie. You should take a quick rest. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon look great. I just heard from Professor Oak. He said the Pokemon's energy is much than HP, blah, blah, blah. Oh, go away, Mum. So, as you can see, it actually sort of. Yeah, corrected itself. Although yesterday it wasn't correcting itself this, it actually took me to Blaine. For whatever reason. <laughs> I have no idea why, and then 
well, it was, well, <laughs> it was wrong. But anyway, so if we go back in, as you can see, we're back in. And then if we go back out, we go straight to Pewter City, which is awesome. So, yeah, okay. But now we want to make it so that it's, we want to make it so that we, instead of actually teleporting like that, we want it to be, we want it to be that we'll warp away. So we'll warp to, yeah, we, we'll warp like we do with the self core uh, warp point. Anyway, so basically the way that it works, these blocks are, and oh, we'll go into the map, sorry. Oops. And no control Z. Yeah, there's no control Z, which is a real shame, yes. So no, uh, I don't want to save those changes. So I believe I have to click on, yeah, okay. So I click on the block there and then it's going to let me click the block. So if we go into block editor, you'll see that, oh no, actually you can just click on it here. Okay. So clicking on this block actually allows you to change the behavior of the actual block that it, well, change the behavior of the block that is associated with it. That's kind of cool. I like that. So you can actually have it so that it's just like a, I believe that that color there must be the transparency. So you're allowed to have two sets of blocks on top of each other. That's really cool. Anyway, so sorry, yes. Uh, we have the behavior byte and I beha believe the behavior byte, yes. Yeah, so zero, 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 zero is just, well, do nothing essentially. And then this 6F must be to do with warps, I think anyway. So we're going to have it so that our TV will be our super duper warp, uh, our cool warp. These, this 6F, by the way, is, uh, may look a little bit intimidating, but this is just a, this is a hexadecimal, uh, or it's in hexadecimal notation, but it's an actual byte. I mean, a byte is eight bits or whatever that means. But yeah, so the actual notation here is six and then F is hexadecimal goes from zero to 15, I believe. So once you get to nine, then it goes to A for 10, B for 11, C for 12, D for 13, E for 14, and F of course for 15. <laughs> to have to do all that for memory there is. But uh, now I, I want to actually change the actual script associated with this. So what we want to do is we wanted to have, we wanted to do a warp and I was able to find this yesterday, yes, but unfortunately right now I can't find it. Interesting that they also call the player hero. I don't know whether this is the developer of advanced map that's actually put this in or whether it's, I don't know, I, I, or whether it's actually within the game. So use warp is that will give us that nice spinning animation and we'll make it teleport the same way it does in the Silco. Again, is I would love to show you the Silco, but unfortunately I can't because I haven't played through the game. So let's do save. So now if we, yeah, okay. Yes, please. Okay, so now if we put in that, so you may be thinking, oh, okay, cool. So that TV tile there is the one that is going to be associated with it. But no, it's actually this one up here. Yes, I believe there is another one with the, the, the Ness. But I can't see it for the life of me. So maybe they are both on top of each other. Yes. Hmm. Anyway, so if we put this TV down here and just for the sake. Let's also put in the actual big TV part as well. Oh, fine. Okay, we'll go the whole way then. <laughs> so if we put this, if we actually go and step on this TV here, we should warp to Brock's gym. Of course, we actually have to set up the CS. So if they aren't uh, appearing, you just go up, click show sprites, you should be fine. So if we put the warp here and save and head back into Visual Boy, we should be able to teleport to Brock's gym the way that we want to, yes. So let's, yes, yes, yes. Every time I have to do that skipping animation, yes, and reloading this room, it's, it's a reminder that we need to have safe states. So here we go, is it gonna work, yes? Oh, well, I'm an idiot. Unfortunately, I used the wrong warp, but as you can see, you know, it did change. It was more like a... Oh, no, I'm an idiot because... Why am I an idiot? Calculating. <laughs> I'm an idiot because... 
because I just am is. No, it's um, yeah, it's uh, it's probably not use warp. It's possibly something else. Regular warp maybe. Let's try regular warp. Maybe that is the one that is associated with it. But as you can see, having the two separate is brilliant to us because now it means that we only need to go in and change the behavior of the tile and not the behavior of the script. Um, although maybe that wouldn't be, maybe it would be better if they were all together. I'm not really sure on that one. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm an idiot. Did I just open the wrong? Oh, for goodness sakes. I was thinking open in terms of Visual Boy. Oh, silly retro. Anyway, let's get stuck back in. And again, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but these little this this is really good for in terms of development because it uh, lets you see that these little having to constantly keep doing these build processes, even though they may only take you know about ten seconds, adds up over time. Yes, certainly over if you did a year's development on this game and you had to do that every single time you wanted to test a build, yeah, it adds up. So now we're not even working. Brilliant, fantastic. Yes, fantastic. So what is going on there? I honestly haven't got a clue. Let us check it out. Ah, that's what's going on there. I moved it out to show you the tile underneath. Ah, <laughs> oh, development is fun. Yes, it's so good. Especially whenever it's all live. Anyway, uh, and you see what I mean? So you're, I mean, that, that did make it go a little bit quicker, but uh, yeah. Hey, hey, there you go. So you see, and what is amazing about this game as well is, is that it will also, it will also play the animation of the previous warp as you change map. So we did the big warp and then it came straight back in. That is, believe me, that's so cool um, from a dev point of view, because then it means we don't have to link up those animations. The uh, developers of Game Freak are very good. <laughs> they know what they're doing. And yeah, okay, so now that we've got that, I wonder if I should... I don't really know what else to talk about this. I kind of want to just leave the episode there. Oh, well, let's, let's set up another one in Pewter City then, um, allowing us to warp back to Palatine. The thing is that we're going to need... Uh, yeah, we're going to need to find a... Oh, okay. It's interesting this. So we're just going to, I wonder if this actually has, because say this map tile set actually just has the warp there already. A lot of blank space here, which is absolutely fantastic. Yes, because then it should allow us uh, to go in and means that we can actually update the um, palette itself. But I don't believe they do. No, at least I can't see it is. Could be my <laughs> eyes that are the problem here, but uh, we'll just use the TV, of course, because we've already got it saved with a regular warp. So, yes, please save. Thank you. And let's have it over here. Oops. Oh, sorry. Let's have it, okay, over here. And so now this will just behave exactly like our, that'll just behave like the warp in our room. So, go over here, change it, incre increment the actual warps, go to change events, and as you can see, it just automatically pops it in as opposed to the way it did in the first video, which was an outdated version of, uh, yeah, the advanced map. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> okay, so let's link it up. Uh, Palatine, I believe, is four and one for the map that we want. And yes, please. And this actual warp number is one. So it'll allow us to actually warp back to one. It'd be cool to have them actually um, link up together, but really I don't think it is necessary at the minute. It's because, I mean, all these warp points are gonna change, but certainly this will give us a good basis to go for. I'm gonna add this to the backlog. Um, set up save states. For quicker build setup, I wonder it would be it might actually be a good idea actually is to maybe develop a wee script so that it'll automatically build 
and load up Visual Boy for us, but um, for now, we'll just take it slow. I don't even know if this series is going to be continued. <laughs> but I hope it is. I hope you do enjoy it, Ace, because I'm certainly enjoying having a wee bit of fun with it. And as you can see, our warps do work. Straight back on. So really, the way that I'm thinking about this is that we will have it so that we create a completely new map and have it so that <laughs> hopefully a little noise isn't annoying you but uh, we'll have it so that if we go back into pewter city we'll have it so that across the sides you'll be able to have like eight war points and on each war point it'll be the actual uh gym leader's face so you stand on the war point and you get teleported all the way to that gym leader's gym and i think that would be really that'll be a cool cool thing to do and yeah i mean this is basic war points for the moment so i think we'll leave it there yes i think it's like a pretty good place to leave it so yeah uh rate comment and subscribe yes i hope you're enjoying this series i really really want to continue making it so it'll be interesting to see how these first couple of episodes go you can email me at richardtk2.gmail.com to give me whatever tips to do with pokemon Roadmap. thank you for watching this and i'll see you in the next video